Now, some people are very comfortable working inside of their main host DAW program. So a lot of people might actually want to just sequence machine inside of the host. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Remember, if you're using machine, it's just going to obviously use its internal sequencer, and you can arrange like this and everything. But if you care not to, and just to use machine as like a sound source, you can also do that. So to set this up, have machine running on a MIDI track. I just have a little drum kit loaded up. And what we're going to do is create a second MIDI track. And all I have to do here is point the MIDI to and from machine so that it knows where it's coming. Now you don't see anything happening yet because I have to do one last change inside of machine. So if we come in here, under the group options, you have the sound MIDI batch setup. And one thing you would have to do here, in order for the DAW to recognize what samples are being played on what notes, you have to hit the sounds to MIDI notes. So once this option is selected, you can select a root note, whatever you want to do. Hit apply. And now you'll see, right here you can see when I hit machine, we're coming in on this new MIDI channel. So for instance, in live like this, I could have like a whole arrangement going and maybe I just want to actually track everything out to its own MIDI channel. So we can easily do this. We'll just go in. Whoops. See what's going on here? It's still recording the audio. I have this based on the intro section here, so you're hearing that synth bass. So let's just come to a blank scene in this case, and we will go back in. So here's my MIDI roll. Of course, if I don't like things inside of the DAW, then you can, of course, just sequence inside the DAW like this. So you can do multiple variations, just record directly in. If this was in the timeline here, we could also just record right in if we need. And there's our new MIDI roll. So, pretty easy to do. Just remember you actually have to switch this setting inside a machine so the DAW can recognize where it's coming from. Because if we just have it normal here, let's take a quick look. Nothing's coming through. <laughs> 